welcome, Citizen Graham. Outdated U-chip firmware detected. Firmware must be updated to use Union City facilities. I was about to return to give Ember a piece of my mind when... Transporting you to the nearest safety services. Stalkers had come into the city, but looking around, that didn't make any sense. This place was a paradise compared to the Union City I'd left all those years ago. Joey had certainly turned the place around. I had to find the Stalkers, and whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. I just had to sort out my U-chip problems first. I trust you are well on this fine day. Actually... Aha! Uh -huh. Have you tried Dijon Buttercream Spankles? It's new. Sounds delightful. That's the spirit. Now, Mr. Grundy, we both know why you're here, don't we? Uh, I guess we do. Your firmware, it's ridiculously out of date. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Go on, place your hand on the platform. Okay, here goes. Well, that's very strange. Morning! What's very strange? What's very strange? You said that's very strange a moment ago. Something about my data. I didn't. You said, what's very strange? I only said it because you said that's very strange. Great. What else can I do for you, Citizen Graham? There was something strange about the ID that I had acquired. While she may have lost the plot, I definitely hadn't. So is my firmware all up to date? It sure is, Citizen Graham. Now you can get back to being a top-notch citizen again. I see you have two weeks of public voting to catch up on. Better find a terminal and hop to it. Listen, I don't know if you'll be able to help on this. I'm here to help. Okay. I'm looking for a child that went missing two days ago. And from which part of the city did this child go missing? He was from outside the city. I can only help you locate citizens. I'm looking for a child named Milo. Accessing citizen database. He is not a citizen. Is he an animal? 
No, I told you, he's a child. Because Milo is a very common name for pets. That fact does not help me. I can only help you locate citizens. Would you mind scanning my U-chip like you did before? But, Graham, your firmware is up to date. Humor me. Okay. Well, that's very strange. There, you just did it again. Because you asked me to humor you. I mean, you said that's very strange again. I assure you that I have a precise log of this entire conversation, and I said no such thing. It appeared that every time she tried to access my data, the last few seconds of her memory was wiped. Is there anything else I can help you with? Thank you. Was I helpful? Yes. Would you like to fill out a survey? Yeah. Why not? Excellent. Question one of 100. Are you satisfied? Whoops. Gotta go. Now that I've dealt with my U-chip problem, I needed to find out more about my new identity, Graham Grundy. Hey, 2CU? I'm not 2CU. Oh, sorry. You look just like the one outside. Oh, so we all look alike, do we? Now hold on, I didn't mean that. You have to admit, though, you do look a lot like 2CU. My name is 1CU. One. We're totally different. Oh, so is 2CU like uh, an upgrade? Like a, a better version of you? You're speaking to the first, an original, a numero uno community welfare droid. Tell me about Joey. Before my time, I'm afraid, sir. You must know something. He brought the city out of darkness and into light. Then the Council took over. Precisely. I'm looking for a vehicle. The monopod station is situated at the entrance to the piazza. No, I I'm looking for a vehicle that came into the city. Well, it can't have come through here. The piazza is a strictly pedestrian zone. Do you know anything about missing kids in Union City? There are no missing kids in Union City, sir. Really? Every single child in Union City is U-chipped and can be found at any moment. Period. What about an unchipped child from the Gap? Ha! <laughs> Not to worry, sir. You won't see that sort in here. That's all for now. Enjoy your day, Citizen Graham. Hey, got a minute? For you, sir? I have all day. What do you do here? My name is Hollow, and it is my pleasure to serve the wonderful people of Union City on this glorious Aspiration Day. And what are you serving? Well, social climbers can bring their Aspiration brooches to me. And then what? I use this machine here to customize the hologram projected on the brooch. Isn't that fun? It's a real parade. What is an aspiration brooch? A special wearable reward to Union City's esteemed social climbers. Courtesy of the Council. Yes, but what do they do? The brooch permits entry to areas around the city, exclusive to social climbers, such as the old history exhibit in the Museum of New History. It also tells your fellow citizens how great at gathering kudos you are. What can you tell me about the Council? Nothing that you won't have heard already. However, if you take a look behind my stall, you can catch a great view of the Citadel. The Citadel? Where the Council are based. It can be seen through the skyline right behind me. Have you heard anything about missing children? Oh my, that's above my pay grade. Are they social climbers? No, they were taken into the city from the Gap. Well, I certainly wouldn't have had anything to do with that. So you change people's aspiration brooch? Only if they ask me to. Sure. How do you change it? 
First, my customer places their aspiration brooch here in the machine slot. Then, through me, they can choose which hologram they'd like the brooch to display. And you put it on the brooch? Now you're getting it. Sounds simple enough. How can I get my hands on one of these brooches? You didn't receive one in the post? I don't think so. That's because aspiration brooches are only delivered to social climbers. You need an awful lot more kudos to be in with a shop. Maybe next month, eh? Sure. Or year, perhaps. I'll see you later. I can't wait. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Please dispense all waste in the bins provided. Please dispense all the waste. Now that I'd resolved my outdated U-chip problem, it was time to look deeper into my alter ego, Graham. One fresh premium spankles. Excuse me. Greetings, citizen. Have you come for another extra large fluoride orange spankles with extra foam? I don't know if that's my sort of thing. Incorrect. According to your order history, it is your new favorite beverage. My order history? Indeed, citizen Graham. You love it. Can I get a can of spankles? Yes, indeedy. There's one waiting for collection right in front of you. Right. Thanks. You sound an awful lot like that aspiration brooch droid. Hollow? I guess so. Are you the same model? Correct, sir. And how proud I am of that, too. Hollow is a fine droid. An honorable droid. You're a real fan, huh? No, sir. I'm a real droid. Do you know anything about missing children? Oh, my. That's above my pay grade. Unless they came to this cafe. I doubt it. Nobody else seems to have heard anything. Excellent. I'm glad to find myself synchronized with local knowledge. Now, may I recommend you forget your troubles with a cold, crisp can of Spankles. What do you do here? My name is Barry, and it is my pleasure to serve fresh, crisp, premium Spankles to the wonderful people of Union City. Do you prepare the Spankles to order? No, sir. That would be unforgivably inefficient. I merely have to collect the flavor from the dispensary and voila! Any chance of a coffee? Spankles? No, no, a coffee. A cup of joe. Toffee flavored Spankles? No, coffee. Coffee flavored caffeinated coffee. Coffee. I have no idea what you're saying right now. However, all ranges of Spankles include 250% of your recommended caffeine intake. What do you know about the Council? The democratically elected body of Union City government, as introduced by Joey. His final gift to Union City was to transfer leadership to those most deserving. I'll take a can of Spankles. Yes, indeedy. There's one waiting for collection right in front of you. Right. Thanks. See you later. You feel a thirst to come in? You talk to me. I was enjoying my time in the piazza, but I doubted I'd learn much about Graham here. Please scan your future to place an order.
I'd never tell him, but Joey's statue looked magnificent. As pleasant as this place was, I doubted it was the museum wasn't open yet. I'd have to come back later. All waste in the bins provided. Hi. It's most excellent to see you again, Graham Grundy. The pleasure is all mine. How can I be of assistance today? Thank you. Au revoir. Please embark now. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? I knew Graham had some sort of connection to Milo's kidnapping. His home would be my best, in fact, my only lead. Take me to Graham, my home. Lakeview Apartments. Certainly, Citizen Graham. The city knew a lot more about Graham than I did. As I arrived masquerading as a dead man called Graham, I was apprehensive about what I would find. But I had no choice. I had to find the stalker. And whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. The seal on the floor showed my buddy Joey just as I remembered him, when I left him in charge all those years ago. Hey, buddy, watch where you're standing. What's your problem? Your face, for one. Excuse me. <laughs> well, if you hadn't been staring at the floor like a moron, you'd have seen me. Do you know where I can find Joey? Oh, I don't know, weirdo. They say he walked into the gap, or sailed across the sea. Either way, he abandoned us all in this place. You don't like it here? Needs more color, wouldn't you agree? I didn't catch your name. I'm your mama! <laughs> what? Do you live here? Do I look like I live here? I'm not from around here. Maybe everyone here looks like you. Yeah, and what do I look like? Trouble. Keep walking. Do you know a guy called Graham Grundy? Nope. Sounds like a moron. In that case, let me introduce myself. Graham Grundy. Doesn't surprise me. What happened after Joey left? Well, duh. Council runs the city now. I'll leave you to... whatever it was you were doing. Aw, really? I miss you. Yes, I'm... Very busy. Hey, Dirtbag! What's your favorite color? Huh? You heard me. What's your favorite color? Blue. Lame. But you're wearing... Never mind. Later, man purse. Later, uh... Backpack. Ha! <laughs> you got nothing! Clearly not everyone in Union City was quite as courteous as they were happy.
Someone had spilt paint on the floor. The cleaning robot was clearly designed to carry heavy water tanks. The hold all was stained with paint. Commencing spray, please stand back. Water tank depleted. Good day, huh? I shall inform Madam and her guest that you have arrived. She will be so pleased. No, no, that won't be necessary. She will be overjoyed that you have finally returned to the bosom of the family. My apologies for the interruption, Madam Songbird. It's Master Graham. What about him, Chipworth? It appears he has arrived home, madam. He has, but that's... Wonderful! Oh, thank Joey! My dear husband is back! Ah, I was hoping to meet you, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonzo, Ministry of Well-Being. I was just here to investigate some irregularities. I'm sure my Graham needs a few moments to freshen up. Why don't I show you my Kudos record? I don't know who you are, but right now we're both in a lot of trouble. So for both our sakes, you'd better convince the Mentor that you're Graham. Um, yes, of course. I'll stall him. Just don't come through that door until you know enough about Graham to pass yourself off as him. Don't worry. You can count on me. I wasn't sure what I'd walked into. But if I was to convince anyone I was Graham, I needed to find out more about him. His job, his family, his state of mind. The mentor could ask me about anything. Information about Graham was scattered all over the place. All I had to do was look around. Union City Red. I suspected it was more fruit juice than wine. At least one person in the city appreciated a nice cup of coffee. Although I doubted Union City Blend contained even an ounce of actual coffee beans. Personally, I preferred an open fire for cooking. Definitely an improvement on the food dispensers they used to have here. Hello there. Chipworth, wasn't it? Master Graham. May I say, sir, is looking even more fabulous than usual today? Why, thank you. Has Master Graham lost weight? Maybe. Does Master Graham look like he's lost weight? Oh, yes, sir. And it would appear sir has gained some height as well. Bravo! Tell me, Chipworth, who was that woman just now? But that was sir's wife, Madam Songbird. Yes, of course. Uh, my wife. Is Sir quite feeling himself? It's fine. I've just been having a difficult few days. How serendipitous that the well-being mentor is here then, is it not, Sir? I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, Sir. Please, can you water the plants, Chipworth? Very good, Sir. Hello, Chipworth. Hello, Master Graham. Tell me about that woman. A woman? Can Sir possibly be referring to his good lady wife? Humor me. For instance, her name would be... Madam Songbird. Clearly, Sir is not feeling quite himself today. Sir might recall he even forgot dear old Chipworth's name earlier. Who? 
Uh, me, sir? Who was that guy in here when I arrived? Is sir referring to the gentleman currently probing your wife in the bedroom? Uh, I guess I am. That would be the Honorable Mentor Alonzo, Senior Officer at the Ministry of Wellbeing. I believe that he would like to see you next. He would? Mentor Alonzo indicated that there were one or two anomalies in Master Graham's records. Public voting, kudos levels, employment, whereabouts within the city... Just some minor things, then. Consumption patterns, bio-signs, indication of physical existence... I think I get the picture. But I'm sure there's a simple answer, Master Graham. This mentor, what will he ask me about? The Ministry of Wellbeing is always concerned, sir, with a citizen's well-being. Well-being? That's right, sir. A citizen's health and happiness, their relationships and social life. All of the utmost importance to the Ministry. He might also inquire if sir needs any support in the workplace or similar. Why exactly was I selected? I believe, sir's two-week-long work, poll, and social hiatus may have raised some concerns. Just be yourself, sir, and you will be fine. Of course, because I am Graham Grundy. Chipworth, tell me everything you know about me. Request respectfully declined, sir. But aren't you my butler droid? Yes, sir. I have been Sir's butler for a very long time. Then why can't you tell me? Standing orders, sir. Whose orders? You... Ah, nice try, sir. Almost had me. Graham had made sure his droid wouldn't talk. I had to do my own investigating. Have a super day, Chipworth. Serving you, sir. Every day is super. Excuse me, please. A shelf full of sports gear and awards from years gone by. That looked like Graham and his wife on their wedding day. They looked blissfully in love. Rhythmic Gymnastics, first place. Amethyst or purple glass? Either way, it looked expensive. I was hit by the acrid smell of chemicals. A sword? The blade was cracked. The box was for a deluxe hollow plinth replacement lens. There was nothing inside. I wondered if Graham self-medicated. Giant scorpions in the sewers, real or fake? <laughs> Unlikely. The tentacle monsters would have eaten them years ago. When I came to Union City ten years ago, this was very much the case. These days, I wasn't so sure. Anti-Hobart propaganda. Some things never change. How to survive a war? Better just to not be around to see them. A printer? It was rare to see one of those. Espionage during the Hobart Wars. Nice to see the propaganda was still around. I couldn't access Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into. 
The council was made up of five ministries. Each ministry had their own logo and distinctive color scheme. A uniform like the one Graham's wife wore. It was cut for someone much larger. The logo on the uniform was quite distinct. From the color of his uniform, it was clear that Graham worked for the Ministry of Comfort. I wondered what exactly Graham's role was. You can tell a lot about a man from his shoes. In this case, that the man had no taste The council was made up of five ministries. Each ministry had their own logo and distinctive color scheme. I wondered what exactly Graham's role was. A chart showing that Graham's kudos score had recently dropped. I wondered what had caused such a sharp decline. I had made some headway, but I still needed to learn about Graham's work and his state of health. I wondered if the people knew that Hobart agents had helped me save their city. The droids who stare at goats. A classic. A cavalcade of cryptids. Someone believed in monster stories. Looked like these photos were taken by the city walls. Among the drawings were photographs, land trains, and the city walls. A sword? The blade was cracked. Welcome back, Graham. Displaying your health chart now. It has been two weeks since your last checkup. You have lost weight. Congratulations. It has been noted that your height has increased, adjusting records accordingly. Scanning for medical implants. Error. Implant missing. Refreshing biomodification database. Please wait. Removing cardiac implant registration. Registering Shreveman port as new implant. The scanner had detected my Shreveman port, which allowed me to interact with Link, the city's old network. Since then, I'd pretty much forgotten about it. Adjusting your health rating from C to A+. I was considerably fitter than Graham. That was good to know. Give me a checkup. Scanning. Your physical health is within the top percentile for a Union citizen. Congratulations. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. Do you have any advice for me? A single can of Spankles contains more than your daily dietary requirements. Look for the clown. 
Drink spankles. Keep a smile on your face. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. Do you have any further advice for me? Are you aware that falls while walking are one of the biggest causes of injuries in Union City? Remember, no matter how short the journey, a monopod is always safer and more convenient. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. What devices do I have installed? You possess a U-chip personal data implant in the perlicue of your right hand. It is functioning correctly. Your cardiac regulator implants have been marked as removed. Please return them to your nearest medical waste facility. You possess a Shreveman local interneural connection port in the third cervical vertebrae. This hardware predates the Minos system and cannot be accessed at this terminal. That's probably for the best. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. Do you have any further advice for me? Calocephala fimbriata are dangerous carriers of disease. Never approach, and if you touch one, report for immediate disinfecting. Do not feed the birds. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. That's all for now. Due to the alteration of your physical parameters, a new uniform has been ordered and will arrive at your home shortly. Keep a smile on your face. I was a lot healthier than Graham. In fact, I'd say Graham was downright unhealthy. I had gathered quite a bit of information about his health and social situation, but I still needed to know exactly what he did for a living. Something told me the fire was not authentic. Keep a smile on your face. pictures were all of Graham's wife. They were photochemical prints, taken using an old-style film camera. The retro technology had managed to blend songbirds seamlessly into the fake backgrounds. The photography was impressive, but the subject didn't look happy. The pictures in the apartment told a sad story, a blissful romance that had soured with time. Fairy tales, courtly romances, and art books. Hello, Chipworth. Good afternoon, sir. Is this interview just going to be about me? Correct. The mentor is here to assess Sir's well-being. And what happens if Sir answers the questions incorrectly? Incorrectly, Sir? Get them wrong? How could Sir possibly do that? Perhaps I hit my head on something. Ha! Very droll, Sir. Very droll. Might I suggest that Sir just be himself and it will all be fine? I didn't have long. I needed to learn about Graham Grundy. And fast. 
Have a super day, Chipworth. Serving you, sir. Every day is super. So Graham was a cleaning supervisor? I had learned all I was going to from Graham's apartment. I hoped it would be enough. Excuse me, please. If I was going to convince the mentor, I had to be sure I knew enough about Graham. I couldn't keep them waiting any longer. From that point on, I had to be Graham Grundy, cleaning supervisor. Darling, I thought you were going to freshen up. I was, but I missed the sweet sound of your voice. Oh, Graham, always the romantic. But please don't kiss me until you've showered. Wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I couldn't let Alfonso here... Alonso? ...monopolize my lovely wife for a moment longer. In which case, shall we begin? Of course. Shall we take a seat in the lounge? It was now or never. So, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonso, what would you like to know? Ah, oh, well, straight to the point. I like that. As I was explaining to your dear wife earlier, there have been some issues with your activity records of late. Issues? What do you mean? Mr. Grundy, a word to the wise. This will be much smoother if you leave the questions to me. Now, whilst your records load, remind me, in which ministry are you employed? Well-being. Oh, darling, don't joke with the mentor. We all know you work at the Ministry of Comfort. <laughs> now, Mr. Grundy, let's be serious now. Ah, here we go. Graham Grundy, 42. Cleaning supervisor with a Ministry of Comfort. Cleaning supervisors require Class C Exertive Activity Certification. I trust that your health rating is sufficient. I did drop down a bit, but I'm back to Class A plus now. Excellent, excellent. Very good. So, with that in mind, I will mark you as fit for work, barring any other issues. Now, obviously, your kudos level will have fluctuated due to your absence. You're a C-plus right now. I note you used to be much higher. B. Yes, well, you'll be back up there in no time. Well, that is all I need to check off. But I'd be remiss if I didn't offer you all the extra support and guidance that you need. Mentor? When someone goes off grid, there's usually some underlying trouble. And as a mentor, I like to think of myself as a bit of a troubleshooter. Of course. I appreciate the concern. So, let's get to the bottom of all this confusion. Dig a bit deeper, eh? Deeper? Yes, right. By all means, Mentor. Tell me about your workplace. I trust there are no issues. The land train facility? It's a fine place to work. I'm sure it is. Department of Land Trains and Extra City Commerce. Wonderful. Oh yes, couldn't be happier. We are, of course, very grateful for your service, Mr. Grundy. But there we come to the crux of the matter. Your absence. 
Fifteen days is a, a long time. This is, of course, why my ministry has become involved in your case. We have been concerned for your well-being. I'm fine. Better than ever, in fact. <laughs> Excellent. Now, speaking of your health, I note you had some surgery last year. Tell me about your implants. Are they working effectively? You mean my heart regulators? Nothing to worry about. As you can see, the beat goes on. Yes. Well, I must say you're in remarkable shape considering your medical history. Of course, your mental well-being is just as important to us. How are you getting on with your <laughs> rather peculiar hobbies? You mean my photography? I do, yes. You can't beat the feeling of an old-time film camera. I can imagine. You have an eye for composition. Although I don't understand your interest in using such archaic technology. Choosing to fiddle with knobs rather than availing of ministry-recommended filters, stabilization, automatic archive, and data retrieval, all courtesy of Minos. If we can't see what you create, how can we share in your interests? What can I say? I like a challenge. I'm sure you do, Graham. Ah, oh, well. I have a busy day of appointments, so sadly we must conclude our little chat there. It's been a pleasure, Mentor. <laughs> Hasn't it? So with that in mind, perhaps you can tell me where you've been for the last two weeks. What? Right. Yes, where have I been the last two weeks? Well? Okay, so... The last two weeks, I was working at the land train facility, of course. Cleaning. I'm a cleaning supervisor. And while I was cleaning, I must have... bumped my head. The next thing I knew, I was in the middle of nowhere, still on the train. Two weeks later, the train returned to the city. Cleaner than it's ever been, I might add. My poor darling! How awful! What a dreadful thing to happen! I believe I have all the answers I need from you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> I'm sure it is, Mr. Grundy. Well, thank you for stopping by. Uh, j just a teeny tiny thing before I go. There appears to be one or two anomalous results here. Anomalous? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it may be nothing. But here's the thing. I get strange readings when I scan your U-chip. Any idea why? Maybe it got damaged when I fell. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. That's probably it. You see, the only other time I've seen anything like this is when a U-chip has been tampered with. No one would have done that now, would they? Tampered with? I didn't even know that you could do that. Graham's a supervisor, not a subversive mentor. Yes, a supervisor, not a subversive. Damaged when he fell. Request analysis. There, perfect. I have everything I need. Great. Chipbot will show you out. Chipworth, darling? <laughs> Just my little joke. Chipworth. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Grundy. I don't know who you are or what you've done with Graham, but I think we got away with that. I hope so. I don't think that we would get away with it a second time. Nor do I. If there is anything wrong with Graham's U-chip, you would better sort it out sharpish before Alonzo's analysis comes back. Who even are you? Where's Graham? Are you that contact he kept ranting about? Whatever Graham had been up to, it had gotten him killed. I had to come clean with his wife. There's no easy way to say this, but I'm afraid Graham is dead. What? How? Where? I found him. In the Gap. The Gap? What was the idiot doing in the Gap? Was that where he was always sneaking off to? Ugh. 
A child, Milo, was abducted from a village out there and brought into Union City. And I think Graham was somehow connected. Sure, and pigs fly. Listen, stranger, I'm sure you can understand this has been a rather harrowing day. This is all too much for me right now. Tell me about it. So I'm gonna do some damage control on social media. In the meantime, I guess that officially it is your home, so you can stay, but this is my bedroom, and that one is yours. No cute ideas. Understood. Songbird seemed rattled by the news. Not surprising. But whoever this contact of Graham's was, I suspected they were the key to finding Milo.